Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice and to My Choice Tuesday. Today, I'm going to be fulfilling some rock education. And this is because there is a band. It's apparently a very famous rock band, like top of some list as like biggest rock band of all time or something. And they must be pretty awesome because I know that my students have sung songs by them and that sounded good, but I still don't have a reference for what they actually sound like. So we're going to be listening to Shine Down for the first time for me with lead singer Brent Smith. And they're going to be singing the song Simple Man. This is a cover song. It was originally by Leonard Skinner. Fun fact, Leonard Skinner was formed in Jacksonville, Florida, which is where Shine Down is from. And this song I have heard before. I think it's been placed in a ton of different films. And I've heard covers of it before as well, just not Shine Down. I feel like this is way overdue, so let's get to it. Well, Mama told me when I was young, said, sit beside me, my only son, and listen closely to what I say. And if you do this, it'll help you some sunny day. I want to give a first impression immediately. Normally I would wait just a little bit longer, but my immediate first take of his voice is that it sounds almost like a pent up geyser. It sounds like it wants to be released. Like there's so much emotional energy and buildup. It just wants to be let go. The consistency of that energy is also extraordinary. It doesn't feel like it ever goes away. It feels like it's always like, almost like vibrating and present. It's very much, um, it has a visceral sense to it. it. Yeah, I'm really curious to hear when it does sort of uh, blow, as you will. I feel like it's going to be pretty incredible. I wanna go back to the beginning though. Uh, I am amazed by the amount of pent up energy in this voice. Well, mama told me when I was young, said, sit beside me, my only son, and listen closely to what I say. And if you do this, it'll help you some Ooh. sunny day or oh, take your time don't live too fast troubles will come and they will pass you'll find a warm arm and you'll find love and don't forget that there is a someone up above. He's great at driving this line of energy through and like keeping me on a hook the whole time. I love listening to his final consonants. There's, he will keep that line going, 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 and then linger even softly sometimes on a final consonant. It's like, he's almost like giving like a little kiss on the way out. It's so, um, so uh, enchanting in some weird way. Like it really just, like it, it grabs my attention and I could listen to all of the details about how he's continuing this amazing legato line. Legato means like it's not um, 
it's not super choppy. It's really um, smooth and persistent the whole time. Uh, and I really think that is happening in both um, sustained breath feeding. I don't hear that breath support ever wavering, ever, ever. It's just really beautiful, consistent sound. And I hear that as well in the way that he lingers on consonants and gives them like just as much love as he's giving to a longer phonation. Uh, I'm going to go back a little bit. This I could become obsessed with this sound. And if wow. you do this, it'll help you some sunny day. Oh. Is it just me or does the way he says it'll it'll help you? Like he's like a little tiny crack, I think, in there. Like he's playing with that uh, upper register sort of moving into it. It's so like getting a little shift, boom. Uh, super subtle, but oh, it gets me. It really gets me. I wonder if it gets any of you guys. If that moment gets you, please write about it down below because that moment gets me. <sighs> and if you do this, it'll help you. Right there. Oh. Sunny day. <sighs> Take your time. Don't live too fast. Troubles will come and they will pass. You'll find a warm arm and you'll find love. And don't forget that there is a someone. Oh, Wow, this is a great voice. Oh, I love listening to how he's shaping some of these vowels. <laughs> it's like one of the things that I feel like vocal nerds can really nerd out about is like, whoa, listen to how much teeth he put into that vowel, right? Uh, beautiful shaping. I'm going to go back and point out some moments when he's just really blown me away with some of this vowel shaping. This consistent feeling of like this energy just pouring out through his vocal tract is amazing. Definitely heard when he got up to the, ta the top and just let it go. Like you hear that geyser of sound just everywhere. It's beautiful. Just uh, really uh, grasping. Uh, it's very exciting too. And he also has a way of adding like just a little bit of grit into the sound that makes it, when he adds a little bit of that in there, it almost like sort of facilitates an octave above overtone that I'm hearing. Like there's something about it that just reinforces that a little bit. I'm really curious what it is. It sounds like I want to take this sound and get it into some spectrum analysis and really look at the visual of what happens when he's adding that grit, because it's a fascinating effect to me. And it feels like it sometimes grit can mess with the the like pitch we hear. The more distortion you put on, sometimes the more of the pitch will disappear. But the teensy bit that he adds sometimes actually sounds like it enhances an overtone. It's so fascinating. I need to really look at it in depth. We're gonna go back and talk about these vowels. Oh, be a simple oh. So right there, this is one of the ones I really like, man. Instead of singing man, he like tastes the vowel. So man, and he really, he's concentrating energy through that entire time. So you hear this evolution from an a ah to an in, and he really, he lingers on all of the stuff in between. If you're gonna sing something that is uh, more classical, uh, and it also kind of depends on other styles too. There are styles where you'll keep the true vowel, which is an A vowel, 
And you'll sustain that and that and then at the last moment close to an end. And then there are styles where you can enjoy the stuff in between as you're sort of, I should say, enjoy the modulating shapes in between. Because just because somebody closes quickly to an end doesn't mean they don't enjoy singing an av owl the whole time. Um, so uh, in this case, you hear him really experiencing this entire mouth shape. It's like um, there's something sensational about how he goes through this vowel. <sighs> okay, let's listen to that again. <laughs> Additionally, he chose to hold out the ol vowel, which is an L-colored vowel, which that can be a very frustrating vowel for a lot of singers because ol, the often close the mouth too much. In his case, he does a really great technique, which is to leave the mouth more open. So simple, and he keeps it more open there. You can actually add a little more uh in the sound as well to try and give it more, um, sort of just more room. So check that out. Those two vowels side by side, he sustains the ol vowel on what I would call like a true l vowel the whole time. He doesn't have that modulation go through that he does in man. Oh, be a simple kind of man. It's delicious. And so stand, he's actually, so in both man and understand, he kind of makes it into almost a diphthong. So instead of and, and, he's going through an E vowel as he goes towards the stand, the ND of understand. And he makes that very evident in understand. Ah, so cool. Um, be Be a simple kind of man. Oh, won't you do this for me, son? If you can get your I love the whew, the breathy offset on this is great. Oh, won't you do this for me, son? If you can. Get your lust from the rich man's gold. All that you need now is in your soul. And you can do this, oh baby, if you try. Oh. All that I want <laughs> from you, my son, is to be. Killer, good. Oh my goodness! How did I not know them before? This is—I <laughs> feel so thankful for this rock education right now. <sighs> okay, this verse is awesome, and it's awesome in a new way, which is really cool. Because uh, yeah, Whew. Uh, the energy that I was talking about—that pent-up energy. Before it always sounded like the pent-up energy was like directed outwards. And in this verse, he's instead directed it inwards. It doesn't feel like there's less energy. It just, um, it's continuing inside. And it's a very small distinction. But if a person, when they're singing, if they think about pouring out to the audience the whole time versus pouring in and really feeding in, it can be a really crazy distinction in tone quality and just automatic expressiveness and how they want to express certain words. What you don't want to do is say like, just lower the energy level because then we feel a drop. But if you take it and you said, say, okay, direct it inside, which is what happened in this verse, it can be so effective. And because he had so much pent up energy in that first verse, and then just like geysering energy, right? Um, in this verse, directing that inwards, I was a little concerned when I heard him drop the volume at first. I thought, oh, please don't please don't lose that energy level because that's amazing. And he did it. It was just all directed inwards. It was so, so great. 
I'm gonna go back and listen to this verse again. Lost, yeah. oh. There we go. Get your lost from the rich man's gold. All that you need now is in your soul. And you can do this, oh baby, if you try. I love, okay, you did this like hovering effect, which is something I really like. You don't hear it done really well very often. Sometimes there are vocal lines where it's like a riff and then there's a like a rest in the middle. And a lot of times singers make the mistake of they'll sing like one part and then they'll let that energy drop and then they'll sing the next part. Uh, or maybe they'll sing one part and then they'll be like, oh, I have to catch breath. <sighs> okay, sing the next part. And that again, if they're not thinking about connecting that breath through in like one big line, then you feel a letdown. Here, he hovered, he didn't even take a breath. He just came back in. And that made it feel like the silence was a part of this overall line. Like the silence had a note, it was crazy. It was very, very well done. That was like the example of how you should ho hover over a rest or scan a rest is sometimes what we call that. Whew. And you can do this, oh baby. If you try, all that I want from you, my son, is to be satisfied and be a simple kind of man. Be something you love and understand. We have some cross, okay, different tracks or to cross the vocals. I love this little bit of vibrato that he puts in at the end. And I feel like his voice for me is uh, just reminiscent of Rihanna's and the way that they're able to really get into one pitch. And it sounds like just that first overtone again. So it's an octave above. There's an overtone that's there that's just buzzing and it creates some yeah I hear I hear that so present it has so much drive in the sound and then there's also this brightness along with this pent-up energy that is in both of their songs like a, that certain rawness to the vocal it's fantastic uh I would never have thought going into this that I would find that his voice reminded me of Rihanna that's such a strange correlation but I, I definitely hear it it's crazy uh let's go back just a little bit uh, this feels like in that verse that he, when he brought it back in and he directed that energy back in, when he went into the chorus again, it felt like all of that energy had essentially amassed and, uh, and now you have this like additional geyser coming out. It's like even more than the first chorus. It's just amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Follow your heart and nothing else. And you can do this, oh baby, if you try. All that I want from you, my son, is to be. So the big question is, how do you continue to level up a song when you have a chorus that is this amazing and big and great, and you have these verses which have so much pent up energy in them? And I think that this third verse is the perfect answer, which is, I hear at times the verge of tears. Right? It's almost there. It's like you hear like he could break down into tears at any moment. And that 
right? That brings like so much more heart filling into it. You can't just, if you belt a song the whole time, just like, and let it rip the whole time, it just isn't as impressive. Uh, not only is it super vocally tiring, but it also doesn't have the effect on the audience because our ears get bored of being belted at the whole time. His way of shifting the levels here is continuing to take the energy up without necessarily being loud all the time. It's it's saying my energy is gonna be high, but my dynamic level is going to be flowing like this the whole time. Super smart organization, very, very effective, very touching. Go back just a little bit, appreciate that. Baby, if you try, mm. all that I want from you, my son, is to be satisfied. Oh, nice one. I love he does a little tiny slide up at this top note. Just like slides down a little bit. It get, brings a teensy bit more attention into it um, musically, not vocally, but it's like, I love that. Song. Oh, won't you do this for me, son, if you can. So baby, right there. Oh, oh my goodness, the do the way he re initiated the ooh vowels there, and then the way. Like this still has that strong voice, but it has that weeping sounding like it's making it so he can't continue singing anymore. It brought that back from the third verse and wow. Uh, this is amazing. Uh, oh, won't you do this for me so mm. So he's essentially doing like a little step down and then reinitiating that pitch each time. I love the way he's doing that. And oh my goodness, some of these fast runs that he's done down have been spectacular. Really, really lovely. Oh. And even that cry on for me is great. So like it's that same thing that I heard earlier. Um, and if you or or it helped maybe was the word. I think it'll help right in the very first verse. When he does these cries, there's something that gets me. It sounds almost like the voice is about to break because it's so full of emotion, um, but it doesn't. You know, he uses that and instead transforms it into this really amazing sustained sound. Oh, be a simple man. Oh, won't you do this for me so if you <sighs> That's ridiculous. Like, his voice is amazing, incredible, and in all of these really fantastic ways. I love the amount of energy that he's packing into the sound, and I can't talk enough about how good that is. That is something that all opera singers aim for, that every singer in a genre should aim for, is how do I keep my audience engaged? How do I keep that energy there for them so they don't ever drop off or fall asleep at some point? And he's doing it so very well within that dynamic variation. It's incredible. Not to mention, oh my goodness, his vowels. <laughs> <laughs> the vowels are so good and I know I'm nerding out about that, but that's because they're amazing and vowels are one of those conduits of energy that are so important for a voice. In addition, you hear this amazing breath support and the way he's using it and also the way he's not just using it for phonation, but also for cutting things off. It's brilliant. And I love, love, love the emotional attachment throughout. You can hear that the message is foremost, even though there's this amazing vocal technique that's happening the whole time. That message is so strong and present and heartfelt and wow. 
I'm so glad that I understand now. He's amazing. I can't believe I haven't heard him before. I should have heard him ages ago. But thank you to all of you for recommending him. And uh, wow, please make some more recommendations for me down below. Really, truly, I need to know which Shine Down song to do next, okay? And if there's anything else you'd like to hear, write that down below in the comments of this video. You can find me here every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. Arizona time. That's when we do live premieres on YouTube and we have a live chat. It's a great time to just hang out with the community and celebrate a video coming out. And you can also find me at thecharismaticvoice.com for voice lessons, for lessons about music in general, or if you just want to hang out and get to know us and our community better, we have an awesome Patreon and I welcome you to find us on Patreon and join us. I hope to see you somewhere soon. Mm -hmm.